for the next couple of weeks. The first ever Durham Art Fest kicked off tonight, and organizers say it's an opportunity to get people downtown to meet the artists. We get more from Dale Jackson in our Oshawa Bureau. Local artist Sean McQuay is setting up this four-piece work entitled Uncertain Sea. So the work is basically about, it's about many things, but basically it's about um, um, a transition and the idea of moving from calm into, into excited conditions and, and then hopefully back again. Many of McQuay's works are on display in a vacant office in Oshawa's PHI building. For artists, it's a chance to show their product to a wide open market. This really brings it to the streets. Uh, you know, these empty stores being used to, uh, to exhibit works. 31 local artists are featuring their work all over downtown. And thanks to the recession, there's plenty of vacant space. The Durham Art Fest is sponsored by the City of Oshawa, the Ministry of Revenue, Hillstone Developments, and the Oshawa Times. It works on many levels. The landlords get their space exposed. The artists get to show their work. The public gets an art show, and it raises the level of, of cultural activity in the area. And I think it's, it's really good to, to create a community for the artists because we're all spread out. Oshawa on its own, Whitby on its own, doesn't have a huge art community. But Durham, it, it was time that everyone sort of got together and really started putting things up. For the many people who don't make it downtown very often, maps are available at the Michael Starr Building on King Street. The festival begins at noon from Wednesday to Saturday. Don't you touch them. Fourth, for further information, look for the Arts Week Guide in your mailbox.